Hey guys, it looks like we're live here. I'm Kelly. Our business is Chestnut Junction and we specialize in primitive crafts. You can find our Etsy shop at www.etsy.com slash shop slash chestnut junction. Um, today we are going to do a tutorial for the acorn blanks. We sell these in our Etsy shop. Um, you get a set of 10 for $9.99. Uh, they are pre-sewn for you. We leave a little opening here in the side and today we're going to show you how to put these together. Um, we do have blanks for candy corns and for pumpkins also in our Etsy shop. Uh, if you hang around for our entire video today, uh, I'm going to be giving this away at the end of the video. This is a uh, a little pumpkin we made last week uh, from uh, from the pumpkin blanks and so we're I'm gonna give this away to somebody here at the end that's gonna be USA shipping only on that one whenever you get your uh, acorn blanks in the mail uh, they will come in a stack like this uh, ready for you to stuff and paint uh, hi to everybody who's coming in uh, my husband is manning the chat today, and let's see. Hi, Miriam. How are you doing today? Glad you could join us. So this is our acorn. I've gone ahead and uh, stuffed it a little bit already. Hey, Miss Sandy. How are you doing? So I'm going to finish stuffing this. And if you've watched me before, you know I like to use little bits of polyfill whenever I'm stuffing. I just think it gives it uh, a better finish and you can fill in all those gaps and holes in there. And I also use a stuffing tool which is just a piece of dowel that we have cut down. Hi Mary, how are you doing today? Hope everybody's having a good Sunday. The sun is shining here. It's actually, it's a very pretty fall day out there. Good, good, Miss Mary. Like I said, if you're just joining us, my name is Kelly and our business is Chestnut Junction and we specialize in primitive crafts and we sell these muslin blanks for different shapes in our Etsy shop and our Etsy shop is www.etsy.com slash shop slash chestnut junction. And we are doing the tutorial. I just we just added these uh, acorns brand new today. So we're jumping on here and showing you guys how to finish off these these acorns. These acorns were actually a um, a request. I didn't even think to do acorns. just continuing to work this polyfill in here and if you guys have watched me before you know that I really I really stuff things I I pack them full Hey to everybody who's coming in. Thank you for joining us today. I think almost, 
almost just about full. We just added, uh, Mary, we just added the acorns today. I had a lady um, email me during the week and she asked me if I could uh, do up some acorns. Uh, so it was like kind of a, a last minute thing. I, I didn't even think to do acorns. Um, and I was like, oh, we're moving on to Christmas stuff. And she was, um, she was like, pretty please, could you try to do some acorns? So I said, um, I said we, you know, try to get some, and we did. We we got a little pattern drawn up this week for for acorns, um, and we just I think I don't I, was it ten ten sets we put in ten sets yeah we put in ten sets. Um, hi, Miss Renee, how are you? Uh, we put in ten ten sets so. And I always tell you guys on these videos too, when I'm doing these videos, um, I can't always promise that we're still going to be in stock on these blanks uh, because they, they sell out. Every, it seems every Sunday we wind up, we, spend, we sell out of them. Um, so if they sell out today, hopefully, thank you, Mary. Hopefully, if they sell out today, hopefully we can get some more done. But I'm I'm busy trying to get some other orders done too. So, um, so I'm tr I'm trying to keep up with keeping these stocked in the shop, in the Etsy shop. But I've <laughs> I've also got people ask asking me for Christmas shapes so. It's, it's, uh, I just kind of thought, oh, hey, we'll do some of these shapes and add them to the Etsy shop. And I didn't think they'd be as popular as what, I mean, I'm, I'm very thankful they're popular. Um, but they're, they, they sell out. Um, so we've been really busy trying to keep these stocked and still trying to get, other, you know, or other orders and whatnot done. I think this is looking pretty good. And we have our opening there on the side. So I've got my needle and thread. It's, it's just, uh, this is crochet thread on here and I've just got a knot at the end. And whenever you sew these sides, you know, your openings together, you want to try to make this neat and, and straight and flat. So take time whenever you, you sew these openings together. You really have to treat sewing this opening uh, closed like it's, you know, a a very important part of the process because if you just fly through this and don't try to be neat you're gonna probably wind up with a with a crooked side or you know like a pucker so we want this we want this side to be just to, to be straight and that you know, that requires getting enough stuffing in there. And then I'm taking like shallow, doing shallow stitches along the side there. You, want, you don't want to do deep stitches here. Uh, or you're going to get puckering.
then sometimes there's like polyfill that'll kind of be sticking out of that so I just trim that off and then I do the massage try to work the, the stuffing around Oh, thank you so much, Renee. Hopefully, Renee, whenever you go to the post office tomorrow, uh, everything will be there and it will be in good shape. I don't know where the heck that pack, because they didn't tell me where your package ended up at, um, but they did find it and they called yesterday and told us it was there. So I'm, you know, crossing my fingers that... Um, your, your, I know, well, I know your package is there, but, um, hey, Miss Sandy, how are you today? Uh, let's just hope that pack, hoping that package is in good shape. Um, nice, you got your paintbrushes. You're going to be ready to go then. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm hoping that package, you know, is in good shape. And for those of you watching, Miss Renee bought a package and, or she, she made an order on Etsy and it's, yeah, it went AWOL for a little while, but we were keeping track on it and we had to file a claim on it with the post office, but the post office was quite, they, they were really helpful with finding the packaging, package and rerouting it to where it was supposed to be. So, uh, hopefully we're all taken care of there. So we've got our stuffed acorn, and I am going to paint the actual like nut part of the acorn, this nut nutmeg brown, um, and then we're going to paint the top this territorial beige. And what I'm going to find my paintbrush. What I'm going to do for this one, because I'm going to add some detailing onto the cap, I'm going to go ahead and paint the entire acorn uh, brown and then paint the cap color on top of the brown. This, this is my paint tray. And we've just got a regular old brush we're going to paint this with. And another question I get about the painting um, is do I have to um, do I have to be neat with the painting? Do I have to uh, you know, like, should I put two layers of paint on? And I, I'm going to answer that one on no. Uh, whenever I paint these, because they're, they're supposed to be primitive, I, I like to get a, the, the piece covered, but I don't lay, like, a ton of paint down on these. I actually kind of rub the paint into the fabric. Uh rather than trying to get this really thick layer of, of paint on it. Um, but no, I, I never give these like two coats of paint. And I actually, I would say I go light on the paint. Not like, you know, not light like where you're not um, getting coverage, but the apple barrel paint. Do we get that at Joanne's or is that Walmart? Apple barrel paint, I think, is Walmart where we get the apple barrel. Hubby just says there's Kimmery came in. 
Is that what you said? Yeah. Hi, Miss Kimmy. <laughs> For some reason, Miss Kimmy, I never see your 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 uh, I never see your your chat. I never see your posts. I'll go back in afterwards. I'll be like Miss Kimmy was here, but I never see you. And I don't like to not see you because I don't want you to think I'm ignoring you. But I've also had several people tell me, there you, there you are, I miss Kimmy. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Aren't the buff, are the Buffalo Bills playing today? Hi, Miss Diana. How are you? I think our Steelers beat Miss Kimmy. Our Steelers beat your Buffalo Bills, I think, the first game, right? But the Steelers have, like, been, yeah, going downhill ever since then. Yeah, are, are the, is the game on now? Are the Bills playing right now, or is it later on? <laughs> I know, but yeah, like I said, the Steelers beat the Bills that first game, but actually, we have the Steelers on right now. If Miss Terry's here, um... She's another, I think she's another Buffalo Bills fan. Yeah, I think Pittsburgh's playing Cincinnati today. And it looks like they're tied up right now. Well, Miss Kimmy, you you don't have to miss your game. You can watch us later. I know you love your bills. <laughs> You're multitasking. Oh, well, I'm I'm glad you're here with us. Oopsie. All righty. For those of you, because it looks like some more new people have popped in. For those of you just joining us, I'm Kelly. Our business is Chestnut Junction, and we specialize in primitive crafts. Our Etsy shop is www.etsy.com slash shop slash chestnut junction. And we sell muslin blanks uh, in our Etsy shop. Today we're doing an acorn. Whenever you get your muslin blanks from us in the mail, they will come like this, unstuffed. We leave an opening on the side for you. We've already stuffed our acorn and sewed the sides shut, and now we are painting the entire acorn um, brown. It is apple barrel nutmeg brown, but you don't you don't have to use that. You guys can use whatever color you like. You can paint these up whatever color you like. Um, if you want to paint them purple and pink, there's no wrong way to do this. Um, but the, whenever we posted the, the candy corn blanks, which were the first ones that we posted, um, I had several customers say, I want to buy those, but I don't know how to finish them. Can you do uh, a tutorial for those? So 
I said, yep, we'll, we'll do a tutorial. So now we're making sure we do a tutorial for each of the, the blanks that we get posted uh, in our Etsy shop. But if you guys watch these tutorials and we don't have the blanks in stock or you just, you know, you don't want to buy the blanks, you want to make up your own pattern, it, you know, you just cut out an acorn shape uh, and sew it up and you can follow right along with us. No right or wrong way for any of this stuff. Crafting is therapy and good for you and you need to have fun creating. You know what I mean? You gotta like what you create. But I'm I'm getting good feedback from uh from several customers that are using these to they're they're reselling these they're they're um they're painting them up and reselling them in their shops uh at craft shows uh so that's that's a big big time saver um and I feel like we price them pretty well to give you the opportunity to be able to make some profit on them if you want to sell them. So uh, I've got a coat of paint on this and oh, I'm going to get my dry hair dryer out and uh, dry this paint. It's her favorite part? <laughs> <laughs> Mary, you only show up to watch me play with the hair dryer. <laughs> there was something. What is it, R R Renee? Teach me. Okay. Well, you, um, Miss Renee, um, about teaching yourself how to sew. I hope you're having fun with that. Um, it, it's. I. I love to craft. Um, but, uh, yeah, don't, like, you're not going slow. You're working on it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the, all the goodies that you, um, that you bought, and you're going to have fun making your things up. Hey, Miss Shirley, how are you today? So, we, we got our acorn, uh, and it's, it's fairly dry, so we're going to take our sandpaper, which is fine grit sandpaper, and we are going to sand the acorn here, and we are just trying to uh, soften and scuff up this paint. We're not trying to, um, you know, sand through it. We don't want any holes. Just a nice, even sanding. 
Watch out when you're going around your seams. You don't want to sand through those seams. Um, if you sand too hard around these edges, you could um, sand right through that thread. So just kind of go easy there. But all in all, it's, it's just a light sanding over the entire piece. Hi Rita, how are you today? And for those of you just joining us, um, we did this last week. Um, this was the this is the pumpkin blank, and we added some uh, wire and homespun and a primitive tag to it. The wire and the primitive tag. Um, I would say the the wire is available in the sh in our Etsy shop. The primitive tag, the blank ones, because we we stamped. Um, we stamped hello, hello fall on there. Um, we did this last week with the muslin pumpkin blanks. Uh, Miss Sandy, I think it's just, I don't, I don't know the grit on it. It just, it says fine. Um, but for those of you that are still with us here at the end of the uh, live, we're going to, um, we're going to give this away. So stick around to the end of the live and um, some lucky winner um, will get this. And uh, that's going to be USA, USA shipping only on that one. coarse grit um, you don't want coarse grit on your sandpaper because literally you can sand a hole right through this normally I have a paper towel here to wipe this off um, but I forgot to get one so we painted the whole acorn brown and now we are going but this thing, hubby just, sweet hubby just got me a paper towel. Um, normally I'll take a paper towel and just kind of wipe a little bit of that dust off. Oh, thank you so much, Carol. I appreciate that. I, I, I appreciate that so much. Alrighty, so we're going to paint the top of our acorn, the cap, um, a little lighter color. And this is Territorial Beige. And I do think I get the, I think I get the Ceram Coat at Joann's, I think. But there's, there's a reason I... Um, painted the entire um, there's a reason I painted the entire acorn brown and that was to give me a base uh, for some detail painting I'm going to be doing on the top of this cap uh, so we're just going to Come in. Can you guys? Am I am I in focus? Um, we've got a flat, just a flat edge brush we're using here. Don't use a don't use a, a wanky brush for this. Um, you want something with a nice straight flat edge, with the bristles nice. Uh, if you've got good tools, you'll get good results. I just, it's a flat edge brush. And don't, don't worry too much about, uh, 
being perfect with your line. Here again, it's primitive. And then whenever I go to whenever I go to finish this off, I'm going to put a little a little uh, embellishment on here that's going to kind of cover up your line anyway. Plus after we get this cap painted, we'll hold, you know, we'll hold it out here and we'll correct any anything we think needs corrected. Yeah, that's how we wash our brushes. I'm typing up now, actually. Okay. He said he's typing up uh, Miss Shirley. He, he, he said he was going to type up the answer for that, but we used, it's, we use dish soap, correct? Yep. And then, it, did you say at the end, after we rinse, after we rinse them out, we take just a, a little dot, not even like really a pea-sized little dot of the dish soap, um, and we'll put it, we'll put it on the bristles and kind of work it in, straighten the brushes back up and it re, it'll resize um, it resizes the bristles. You know, you know when you get your bristles brand new your bristles are stiff like when you get a brand new brush the bristles are stiff and that's because they have sizing in them that keeps them nice and straight um, so that's why we put a little bit of dish soap in the brush after we get it clean and straighten it back up because it, it resizes the brush and um, keeps, keeps the bristle straight until you use your brush again. It makes your brushes last longer, in my opinion. And I like to buy nice brushes. I don't buy like, I don't buy like cheap, cheapy brushes. Like those value packs, I don't, I'm not into that. But I, I won't spend like $10 on a brush either. But uh, I like to, if I like to use the coupons that they give you especially whenever they have something on sale. Like Michael's or Joanne's, they'll already have something on sale. And then whenever they have those coupons, like you get an additional 20% off, that's whenever I'll usually go buy my brushes. So I tell you guys all the time, I'm, I'm frugal. I like nice things, but I'm frugal. And painting this, I'm leaving the stem unpainted. If you want to paint the stem, then paint the stem. It is completely up to you. But I'm going to leave it unpainted. What are we cap it? Going for Angie? Okay. So those of you just, um, Hey, Miss Angie. Today we're making an acorn. We just added these. Um, we just added the blanks to the shop. Um, we stuffed it. We painted it. We painted the acorn itself, nutmeg brown. And now we're painting the top, territorial beige. And I, I think I heard a couple alerts come in on my phone that some of those, um, some of those, those blanks are already sold. So, if you guys are, um, if you guys are wanting to get any of these, I know I still, I still have a few left, but I did hear, I did hear notifications come in over there that um, a 
couple of those are sold already. So we painted the top that territorial beige and now I'm going to go back around and like this side here I can probably take my brush and uh, straighten this line up a little bit. Don't make don't make these things. Uh, I get emails all the time that people think they messed things up or uh, didn't do it right. And you can always fix boo boo. See, I straightened that line up. No wrong way to do it, and it's primitive. And when it's primitive, uh, it's supposed to look old and worn. And also, I say too, if you mess something up, you can always add a tag on top of it, add a bell on top of it, put a homespun piece on, you know what I mean? You can always cover up mistakes. And it, getting good at this, and get it, it takes practice. Um, for those of you just starting out with this, um, the more you do, the easier it becomes, the better results you get. It's, it's all practice. But I think it's fun to learn and, and the pra you know, even when in the practice, it's a, it's a fun therapeutic journey to, to craft. gonna pick up some of my extra paint here and put it back in my put it back in my bottle are you you keeping an eye on me to make sure I'm mm -hmm. um, I'm in focus here because mm -hmm. I sit here and I I craft like nobody's <laughs> here and I, I need to make sure you guys can see me so we got our cap painted front and back and I'm going to go ahead and use the hair dryer to dry this paint. That hair dryer is hot today. I don't know if it's getting ready to die on me or what, but dang, that was hot. So, we've got the top of our uh, acorn painted. I about raised, I almost said mushroom. <laughs> so, we can go ahead and sand this. Hey Evelyn, how are you today? We're making an acorn today. Take 
paper towel and wipe some of that dust off. And my next next step here, uh, I've got a liner brush I'm going to use. And I'm going to go back and use the Nutmeg Brown that we used here. But I'm going to be doing some line work up here. And I'm going to use a separate little bowl for this. Um, the reason I had painted the entire piece brown and then painted the lighter color on top was, and you'll be able to feel it, there's now like, there's two layers of paint on this now and it's a smoother surface and that smoother surface is actually going to give me uh, a little bit better surface to put down some lines uh, for the detail on top of our acorn. Uh, if you if you'd want to skip that uh, step, film you know film you can no no wrong way here. But I wanted you to know that that was the reason I painted the entire acorn and then put the uh, lighter color on top because with that two layers of paint, I've I've got a smoother surface up here now than uh, I do down here at the bottom. So what we're gonna do is take our uh, the, the, the nut color which was the nutmeg brown and I'm going to put a little bit in my little bowl here and the reason I'm going to use the little bowl is, is because I'm going to use a little bit of water and the water is going to thin down the paint um, and don't let this intimidate you it's it's not not hard um, so we've got a little little bit of paint in our bowl here and I'm going to take my water uh, and I'm going to put just a little bit of water in this cap and that's that's just to measure it out so I don't dump a whole bunch of paint into my bowl because you very easily can just accidentally spill all that water in and then you've wasted your paint so this it's not technical, I'm just, this is just helping me control how much water I'm putting into my bowl. So I'm going to go ahead and, and dump that water into the bowl right next to my paint. I don't know if, can you guys, can you guys, can you see that honey? Uh, I can now. Okay, so we just have some water in there with some paint. And you're going to take, you, you need a, a, a nice liner brush um, and I, I do I hope you got maybe I'll move you down hope you guys can see what I'm doing I'm just gonna yeah, that's good. I'm the the paint straight right out of the bottle is a little just a little too thick um, to give you an, a nice uh, smooth line. So that's what we're using the water for. I'm not mixing the entire puddle of my paint into the water. And I hope you guys can see. I'm kind of coming over here to the side and just making my own little puddle here. Um, of thinned down paint and there's no there's no wrong way to do it don't let this don't let this step intimidate you we're just wanting to thin down the paint a little bit so it'll give us nice smooth lines on our acorn so I'm gonna put some start out by putting some diagonal lines across this and here again don't no right or wrong way it's it's handmade and it will turn out beautiful and like that one that one turned out a little light so I'm, I'm going to come back in 
just give it a little bit more. But all the while, I'm, I'm working. Can you, can they see where I'm working over mm -hmm. here on the side, mm -hmm. trying to get a nice paint consistency? Yeah. Okay. keep working with my paint here and we're just going to come in and now we're going to go the opposite way and here no right or wrong way to do it um, just go with it am I still in focus yeah it looks good You can always, you know, come back over uh, your lines a second time if it doesn't look like um, the paint is, you know, if you didn't get enough coverage. And myself, I can see where it looks like I need a little bit more coverage in some places. So I'm just gonna, you know, go back over it. I'm looking at something here real quick. Okay. I think what I'm going to do too, actually let, let me dry these real quick. I'm going to go back through and actually line the bottom of this cap. You don't have to whatever you would like to do. I was thinking too, if you didn't want to do the, uh, the lines here at the top, you could actually do polka dots. Um, and polka dots are as simple as taking the end, like at the end of your stuffing tool or the end of your, um, paintbrush and dipping it into your paint and dabbing dots so you could do polka dots at the top of this as well like I said if you don't want to come back through and line along this uh, bottom you absolutely don't have to
and then I'll line up here as well. And if these lines like are a little too thick for you, then you would want to go down a size on your brush. If you would like to have thinner lines uh, on these, what would you call those, cross hatches? If you would like those lines to be thinner, like I said, go down. I don't this I think this says a size zero I don't know but I if you want those lines thinner go ahead and go down um, a size so we we I lined around the bottom and around the cap if you don't want to do that don't do it Take my sandpaper and we're just going to lightly scuff this up again. Mary. <laughs> I know Kimmy the, the, the polka dots I did I was just thinking about that whenever I started it like the polka dots would um would be cute and even like to go with more of a of a farmhouse um of a farmhouse like kind of theme like maybe uh do like this this top color and like an antique white um you know, would be real, that that would be really cute for um, more of a farmhouse thing, with, and then add the polka dots. Um, th this is this is what the acorn turns out looking like, and then because I just wanted to save some time, um, I have an acorn that I did up earlier, and we added this jute tie, and then. We put a rusty bell on it, and the the rusty bells they're available in our Etsy shop. Um, and jute tie, or the jute, you know that's uh, you can get jute about anywhere anymore. But there is our finished acorn. Okay, thank you. I'm I'm glad you guys like that. Um, so. We're going to get back to our little pumpkin that we made last week, and I am going to, uh, let's see, thank you, Miss Sandy. Um, I'm going to go, I'm going to take the, uh, and you have, this is for USA shipping only on this, I'm still trying to uh, read comments here. Surely you need a bunch of acorns. So I'm probably going to wind up having to make a bunch of acorns. <laughs> uh, but we're we're gonna uh, we're gonna give this pumpkin away. Uh, please know that because I've I've had um, is it two times now we've given something away, and uh, I had somebody get upset with me because they said I counted I counted wrong on the comments um, whenever you guys are commenting not all comments and it's a Facebook thing 
not all comments are going to uh, come through on my screen in the same order they come through on your screen. So even though uh, it may look like somebody is the seventh person on your screen, it may not be the seventh per person on my screen. Um, so just know that I, I, you know, I, I feel bad like when people think that they've been looked over or I didn't see it. It's just a Facebook thing and they're filtering and the way comments are coming through. Um, but I'm going to uh, take the uh, I'm seventh person, the seventh person on this, and it is USA Shipping, um, the seventh person who uh, comments uh, pumpkin, uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we're going to send this out in the mail for you. Um, for joining us today. We we so much appreciate you guys uh, joining us and supporting our business. So the seventh person who comments pumpkin that comes through on my end as the seventh person is, we're going to send this out to you. Okay, Miss Kimmy, <laughs> Miss Kimmy, you are the seventh person to come through with pumpkin on, on my end. Okay. So, um, if you want to go ahead and message me your address, Miss Kimmy, we will get this out in the mail for you. Um, as always, thanks. Thank you everybody for joining us. If you would like to purchase any of these pumpkin blanks, if we have them in stock, you'll find them in our uh, Etsy shop, which is www.etsy.com slash shop slash Chestnut Junction. Um, we have been coming live every Sunday, so I don't know if we will have a project for next Sunday. Uh, if not, uh, you know, maybe we'll make one up. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Uh, Miss Kimmy, this is going to be going out to you. Oh, you are most welcome, hon. Thank you, everybody, for joining us today. Um, everybody have a blessed day. Love you guys. Bye.